Welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a Conqueror. It's a tier 9 British heavy tank. It's located on the South Spawn of Mountain Pass and it's under the command of MacGyver 1970. Now if he's got the top gun, he's got the 120mm, which is capable of 400 alpha. Yes it is. 259mm of penetration with standard ammo with the APCR goes up to 326. Basically, the Conqueror is an upgraded version of the Carnarvon. It's a British heavy tank designed to take on the IS-3. Certainly got the penetration with the gun. The gun's the L1A1, which really set the standard for 120mm guns at the time. And you can see it's got bursting tape plates around the turret, which actually stop heat rounds from having an effect. The turret is fairly good for bouncing around, so is the upper plate of the tank, but the rest of it, well, it's fairly slow and the armour is not so great on other parts of the tank. You can see he is very sluggish to get to uh, the confrontation point on the valley, on the ice road. The Fosh is much, much faster. Ah, now did his sixth sense just go off? It did, yes. That's why he stopped suddenly. Okay, now you're going to find out how bouncy that turret is. He's facing an IS-2-2. The Foshers just fired two rounds. Oh, and that one went off the uh, turret. Right at the top of the turret, the IS-2-2. See, the reload time's quite long. 8.8 .8 seconds, but, well, I suppose for a 120mm, that's fairly good at this tier. Trying to search for that Capola, there's not much to go on. Doesn't need to worry about that Fosh, he's down the other end of the valley. You can see the Scorpion G, no fear, but uh, balls the size of tennis, well, not tennis balls, um, balls the size of a basketball actually to do what he just did. Because he hasn't got much in the way of armour and he won't survive unless he gets more support. Nice view of the glacier. Nice shot right through the Capola. Bounced the round that came off the VK-101P. Okay. Offer us the Capola again. 10 degrees gun depression on this tank. Tried to get it there. Bounced the round that came back. That's okay. It's got 10 degrees. It's it's actually fairly good gun depression. Much better than the Soviets. They really can't exploit ridgelines the way that the British tanks do. Hello. Lower plate. Takes them out. No problem. Big Alpha able to go straight through the lower plate. And he's out the game. Okay. VK or the other one. Ooh! He just got the side of a turret on the uh, IS-3-2. In fact, more enemies have turned up and he just went through the lower plate weak spot on the VK. The enemy recognises the biggest threat is actually coming from this direction. Took around there from the Emil 2 and bounced... Well, took around in the tracks from the VK. He's repaired it and pulled back job that he did and because he's got a large repair kit he's actually fixed everything at the same time we didn't even dent them. Uh, yeah that that IS-32 was actually very well angled to avoid doing any damage that one went into the tracks again yeah he's very well angling you've got to aim for the specific specific point you want it to go through to get a pen go for the VK yeah he's out of the game And we'll go for the Emil 2 instead. Yes, because he's got a weak hull. Don't aim for the turret and the IS, uh, the Emil. Go for the, the hull. It's very, very weak indeed. And he's out the game. So that's three kills now from the Giver. Oh, that one managed to miss all the tracks, all the suspension parts, and actually went straight in through the side. And that one did as well. 
no amount of actually moving about and jiggling would actually stop it if you're aiming for the specific point on the hull where it actually will go through. The, I'm not sure he's going to get a shot on that back chat because he's getting out of there before he uh, uh, he did get killed. <laughs> In fact, it was the other Conqueror who got the kill on him. And this Scorpion, well, all he can really do at this point is defend, but he's a one-shot. And MacGyver's going for the kill. This will be his fifth kill, if he can get it. Yeah, no problem. Took a round from the Scorpion, but this the FV207 fired an HE round at him. And if he kills this guy, he will get a Top Gun. But the FV's decided to run away. He went down the side of the cliff. So MacGyver's going to chase him. There he is. And that is the Top Gun. There's only three enemies remaining. He could stay here in the cap and let the enemy come to him now. Ah, oh, now. Boy. Takes him out one round. He'd already suffered a lot of damage, but he did take one round from the Fosh. Fosh's 120mm gun. He lost 441 hit points, but he's still got half his hit points left. But there's only two enemies. He's got seven gills. He could get a Radley's. It is possible. But the two enemies that he needs to come back are the AMX M449 Liberté and the Star 1. We don't know where the Star 1 is, but we can see where the Liberté is. He's the other side of the bowl and he's engaging our Liberté at the moment. So I don't think he's going to come back. And it looks like the Conqueror up on top of the hill is going to stop the Star 1 if he does arrive. The Conqueror being such a slow tank, it's going to be really difficult for him to chase after that Star 1, which is quite a fast Japanese tank, so probably not a good idea to go looking for him. He probably wouldn't find him in time, and the Conqueror, the other Conqueror, would probably cap out anyway, so they've both decided to cap now. So he's going to miss out on the Radleys, but he does get the victory. And the satisfaction of knowing he did most of the work. That's the hole from the FV207. Quite a big hole. And that's it. They've capped out. So a nice little victory for MacGyver. And this was an ace tanker for MacGyver in the Conqueror. Well done. He managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He also got a, a duelist, fire effect and a shell proof. He picked up an invader medal because he was actually the only one in the cap for most of the time. The other conqueror came down to help him complete the cap, but he managed to get at least 80 cap points in the process. And he also got a top gun for getting at least six kills. He actually ended up with seven, just short of getting the uh, the Radleys. If we look at the team score, we can see that he actually did score the most damage on his team, but not the most damage overall. I'm afraid the AMX-50 Fosh, who came back to defend his cap, got 4,097 hit points, but he didn't pick up the high caliber. So I have to wonder if the Fosh actually did some damage to one of his teammates and that disqualified him. Uh, but I don't think MacGyver did at any point during that game. When it came to kills, he easily had the highest amount with seven kills, just one short of half of the uh, enemy team. The next high scorer being the AMX-50 Fosh on the enemy team with three kills, two kills to the Liberté and the LT-432. And when it came to base XP, he was the only player over a thousand base experience points. That, so basically, he's got the top in two columns, not all three, I'm afraid, but uh, two is good enough. 1,401 base experience points, 949 to the Progetto, 935 to the Liberté. He fired 19 rounds in that game, got 16 direct hits and 13 penetrations. Damage of 4,013 hit points, all of it at close range. Nine hits received from the enemy, only two of which actually penetrated, six non-penetrations and two hits by way of splash damage. Yeah, the, the two that penetrated, I believe, if I remember correctly, uh, the Emil got him with one and the Fosh hit him and so did the... Uh, the FB207, but I think that was a splash. So, yes, it was the Fosh and the Emil that were the ones that actually penned him. 2,200 hit points of damage blocked by armor didn't qualify for the Steel Wall because it was too, too few shots. And he damaged seven of the enemy, killed seven of the enemy, and did 873 hit points of damage assistance. Unfortunately, even though he made 42,935 credits from the game, because of all the premium ammo he used, he actually made a loss of 4,728 credits. 
but he did pick up 3,153 XP overall, so it was a benefit to him. So a very good round in the Conqueror. Congratulations on your race tanker, MacGyver. That was a good uh, explanation or a good example of how good the Conqueror can be in the right hands. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you very much indeed for watching. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all our viewers.